What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of House Flipper. This is episode 14 now on the HGTV DLC series. Now unfortunately in the last episode we did finish the final house that was given to us with the addition of the DLC. However, that's not this house by the way if you're new here. Not this house, this is our house. However, that's almost a good thing because now we don't have the constraint of being ordered around by Gary and Carrie. Now we get to kind of go back to doing things on our own. And I kind of like that, kind of a lone wolf when it comes to the home design stuff. And a lot of you probably don't agree with my design decisions, which is just fine. But I think what we're gonna do today is uh, potentially purchase a house, okay? Now I do still have a couple of jobs from prior to the HGTV DLC that we could check out, but then it's not really part of the series, I guess. I don't know. Let me know if you guys want me to go back and do some of those old jobs we just never did. But what I think we're gonna do today is check out a new house. Now, I'm gonna do the HGTV DLC houses, of course. It's part of the series. It fits, right? But I don't know which one I wanna do yet. We do have the pink duplex. That'd be kind of a fun flip. Otherwise, the century old house might be the one. That or the accountant's house. I don't really want another stilt house because we kind of already did that with our current house. Also, the modern house wouldn't be a bad one. You know what? I hated the modern house so much that I'm willing to take a big risk here, uh, go ahead and purchase it, and see if we can't actually make it something special because it really kind of sucked. It was super bad layout and just very, very ugly all around, but um, I'm interested. Definitely interested. So let's go ahead and buy this house. It is $160,000, and it is just a ranch, just a single story. So we should have tons of space here to work with, which will be nice. Okay, here we are. So of course, the lawn is probably going to need mowed, but I don't know if I'm going to tackle that in today's episode. Also, oh, there's dirt on the driveway. That's actually really cool. We have tire marks on the driveway. I'm gonna go ahead and clean those really quick. Where is my, oh, there it is, hose. Got the garden hose. Clean off those tire marks. Wow, those are really on there, aren't they? Definitely not the most boring way to start out a new build, but that's okay. The outside of the house doesn't look terrible. I think what we need to do out here is get rid of the stone that's underneath the windows and just make this section right here the chimney. We could also, ooh, we could also get rid of a little bit more there. I don't know what panel I want to use for the outside of this place, but we have to think of something. And then of course we have the carport, which isn't a garage, you guys. I went on quite the rant about that before. A carport does not equal a garage. They are not one and the same. Good God. Okay, someone ransacked this place. We still have the random little door that leads to literally nowhere but maybe we can use that to our advantage. Let's work our way around back to the front door, which is actually a sliding door, which I wish we could change, but we can't, unfortunately. It is going to have to stay a sliding door. However, we can sell everything. Now you guys know the drill. Normally when we buy a new house, we go around and we sell literally all of the things. And this house isn't gonna be, oh, good God, isn't gonna be any different. I am literally going to go around to the entirety of this property, sell every little bit of everything that we can, and, oh, this is new too, and also tear down all the interior walls. It has to be done. There is a better layout for this property. I know there is. I just have to figure out how to do it. See, like, even the bathroom is different. So apparently it doesn't matter if you... Whoops, I didn't really want to sell that. Apparently it doesn't matter if you have been through these houses and renovated them in the past. Those renovations no longer exist. They are they are gone completely. And we are pretty much starting from scratch again. This office actually doesn't look terrible. It's just everything's kind of... Oh, oh my god, look at all of the books! Dude, I can't believe they make you sell all the books. Why wouldn't they just put this in one big pile like they do with the wine bottles and glasses and stuff? Jesus. Okay, there we go. Now we can continue selling all of the things. Also, why are there so many photos? 
above this fireplace. The fireplace shouldn't even go here. It's got to go in that other room where the, the chimney is on the outside of the house. Then we have the living room in here. This actually looks better than what I did for this place, which is sad. I just couldn't figure out how we were going to configure the space, dude. It's such a weird layout. All the lights, all the light switches, everything must go. Dining room looks exactly the same, pretty much. Everything's just old now. Kitchen is still in the same sort of... They didn't... What? No way, dude. We smashed out all the walls in the kitchen. They went back to the prior design, thinking it was better. That was a huge mistake. Huge mistake. I do like the addition of those shelves, though. That looks nice. We could maybe utilize that in our next attempt, possibly. Okay, is everything gone? Just the light? I think that is everything out of the kitchen. Moving on, we have our first hallway here. This is sort of like the storage room kind of type thing. I don't really know. I'm going to get rid of all of it. I don't think we need anything in here. My hope is that we can use... Whoops, I got to get rid of those installations. My hope is that we can use this door for maybe a patio for the master bedroom or something along those lines. I think that'd be kind of nice. Here we have the first bedroom so far. Very ugly. I don't remember how we ended up doing this one. This is the bathroom, which they left. We knocked out all those lintels for them earlier. And pink bathtub, goodbye. Perfect. I think everything is gone. Next room, same thing. Delete all of it. Oh god, oh god. It looks like they were in the process of moving out and then just decided, yeah, whatever. We don't need those boxes. Let's just leave all that crap here. Have the next homeowner deal with it. Thanks, guys. Appreciate that. All right, and then we had the super small, randy little room over here. This was definitely the storage room. I know I said the other room was. This is definitely it right here. Look at all these boxes, dude. Crates and pallets and just junk everywhere. They're making us work for it on this one, boys. Okay, now we just have to go through and get rid of any trash that we couldn't dispose of originally. And now it's time for my favorite part. Actually, we should go around and clean. I'm gonna go around and clean the outside of the house and maybe throw away all this stuff back here as well. And then I'll go through and do some demo. I have to be very careful out here too not to get rid of any of these tiles on the ground because that could be that could be bad could be a bad thing okie dokie now with everything cleaned up on the outside of the place i'm gonna go around and just make sure there aren't any weeds that we don't want in the garden so then when we do actually go through and mow it's a little bit easier okay there were literally two weeds in the entire yard are you kidding me it's the easiest yard we've done so far now the fun part you guys, we're gonna go through, smash out every single wall, tear out every single room in this house, and we are going to start from scratch. This is gonna take a while, but I'll see you guys here in a few minutes. All right, guys, nearly an eternity later, I have finally smashed out all of the interior walls. Uh, other than this, apparently that's not something I can get rid of, but I might be able to work with that. I'm thinking maybe a fireplace or something there could look good potentially, however, all the windows are now clean, all the walls have now been filled if they had a hole in them, and we are ready to start laying out the new layout of the modern house. So, to start, I do think I want to keep this as a fireplace, like I just mentioned, but I don't think I want to put the wall here, I think I want to put it here. And then we'll just make this space probably an office or something like that. So I'm going to expand a wall to about there. That should do it. And then we'll have this nice little recessed area where we could even put some shelves and some decorations up there, have this be a fireplace. And then I think what I wanna do is bring out a wall from here across. We will need a doorway in there, so I don't wanna get too far ahead of myself, but I'm definitely gonna put a wall there. That way you can really tell that that's sort of a, a chimney. We'll put a wall here. You know what I want to do first? I'm going to make sure that we have good flooring throughout the entire house before we start putting walls up everywhere, you know? The floor panels and coverings. I'm going to go to all floor. There we go. Now we have more options. I'm going to use the panel gray again. I think even this might already be gray, but we're going to go from this corner of the house all the way out here 
to this corner of the house. Look at that, dude. 1400 almost $1,500 to floor the entire house. Other than this little section here. And potentially, yeah, over here in the office. Get that patched up. Everything else is looking tip-top. I love it, dude. I love it already. It already looks a ton better. Now, what would make it even nicer is if we had a fresh coat of paint on all the walls. But I think I'll wait to do that until we have everything figured out. So switching back to building walls, I think it'd be in our best interest to maybe bring this wall out to about here. Under door, double door frame with the pure white wood. If I put that here, and there we go. So we'll have the front entryway obviously be right here. And then off to the left, I think I'm going to close this off. Perfect. And then we'll have a doorway into this room over in the corner. So I've walled from here all the way over to here. And then the door will open, swing open towards that wall. Yes. All right. It's starting to make a little bit more sense. And then we'll have a fireplace over here because the chimney is on the outside. Oh, this looks so good. So I don't know what we want to do with this room. If we want to make this sort of the master bedroom, maybe. It does have the most space so far. We'll see. Maybe there's going to be a better room to put the, the master bedroom in. I'm gonna put some lintels up above here, switch back to full size wall, and we can make this complete, just like that. Oh my God, dude, it's starting to take shape. What do we think of that? That looks pretty nice. So office over here. I would do a wood door frame over there. I just think the space is a little too small for that. Okay, so now we have our first bathroom. This will be the main bathroom in the house, aside from if bedrooms have attached bathrooms and stuff like that. But it's starting to come together. It's definitely starting to come together. So behind here, we have the bathroom. Over in here, we'll have the potentially the master bedroom. Not 100% sure there. We have the office over here. Through the doorway, which does look pretty dang good. We're going to have the living room, I think, over on this half of the house. And then I'm going to split this right there. Over here, I think we'll do the dining room. We do still have this weird door here, though, that we're gonna have to work out. I've got it. I've got it, dude. We're gonna have a dog area over here. So the door will kind of symbolize just a way for them to get in and out of the house without, you know, waking someone up or whatever. We're gonna pretend that the door has a doggy door on it, all right? That's just, that's the route we're gonna go with that one. All right, I just have to demolish this wall. Accidentally placed that one right there. Okay, so we have dining room. We have living room. We have maybe a bedroom over here. We'll do a doorway just above here. This is the dog area. Maybe, no, we'll just keep it as, as a dog area. We'll just pretend that, that the dogs inhabit that area. I don't know, dude. The door's just really weird. I don't know if it has any real purpose other than being an annoyance, but we gotta figure something out for that. I'm just gonna leave it as a sort of hallway for right now. Maybe an emergency escape, who knows? And then we'll put a wall up against it. Okay, there we go. So now we have a doorway going through into another doorway. They should be in the same spot. God, see, this could be a good spot too to put the master bedroom. I think we're gonna I think we're gonna have to do that guys. We're gonna have to do the master bedroom over here. So now we have the master bath right here, the attached master bathroom. This will then turn into the master bedroom, which it's honestly a lot larger than that. I guess it doesn't even need to be the master, does it? Oh, now I know why the original design was so weird. It's because the actual shape of the house is just that weird. I got it figured out now, guys. Don't worry about a thing. So we have the original archway here. That's still there. We moved this wall out. It used to be where this brick is. We moved it out about three spots, right? Giving us a little bit more room to maybe turn this into more of a, a dog-friendly room, more dog-friendly environment. And then we could do a washer and dryer in there as well. This will then be the master bedroom. Okay, it's a large, 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 large bedroom, but I think it'll work out okay. And then this bedroom over here will just be an additional bedroom. We could even split it into two bedrooms, but I think we'll just keep it as one. 
So this is a huge house. It's going to take a long, long, long time to decorate, but I am really, really excited to see what we can do now really quick. I'm just going to go through, paint all of the walls white just so we can kind of get a better feel for everything. And then I'm going to do a little bit of masonry work here on the chimney for the fireplaces, maybe even get a fireplace put in in here and in the living room. And I will see you guys here in a sec. Now that everything has a fresh coat of white on it, it's a lot easier to sort of picture how this property is actually going to look when it's all said and done. So this will be the living room. As I've mentioned before, we have a fireplace over there on the wall. Fireplace not yet installed. Coming soon though. Guys, wait on it. And then over here, we're going to do this. I think a bathroom. And now that I've said that, I also want to change the flooring for in here and do something a little bit more, I don't know, bathroom-esque. So I'm going to change this out for a dark gray concrete. I'm going to do that in this bathroom as well as the master bathroom. Do that right there. And then I was also thinking, you know what? This other room over here is far too big to be a bedroom just by itself. So I think we may even end up doing a bathroom over in this corner. I don't know yet. It's kind of a little too early to tell, but I think that's a good plan. Now, we need doors. We need accessory things and we definitely need the fireplace before we wind the episode down here so they do have electric fireplaces i guess all of them are technically electric even though this one's obviously trying to be wood burning and that one's trying to convince you that it's wood burning but it's actually not because they have like the cubbies and stuff for the firewood but anyways let's put that on this wall right there oh it's so good it's so good. All right, we're doing that in the other room as well. Boom. Got it. All right, two fireplaces done, dude. It's too easy. It's too easy for us now. Let's do some doors. Also, we do have this slider, which we could use for our front door instead of what we had before. I think we'll... Oh, God. I'm going to grab that once we get over there. If I don't do it now, I'm going to forget. So let's just go ahead and do it now. Place it down there. Okay, so it opens... On that side, I think it was reversed before. Oh, never mind. You can just open either side. Okay. Well, sweet. That solves that then. We'll just leave that there. And now for the interior doors. I'm going to leave it with the doors we've been using in the past for the interior doors. I don't really think any of these other ones work. So we're just going to use these regular old interior white doors here. Place that one down so it opens up against the window. That looks good. This one has to get placed down this way. There we go. So it'll open up against this wall. Perfect. We need an exterior door over here. Uh, I'll come back to that. I'll come back to the exterior doors. We need an interior door for our bathroom. Right there. And lastly, we need an interior door over here. Should open this way. Perfect, dude. Oh, yeah. All right, so over here, I'm gonna use the same slider that we used for the front door. Place that one down there, looking good, looking good. All right, moving on over to here. Since this is the quote unquote modern house, I wanna use a modern door, even though it's just a random back door. So I'm thinking something like this ought to do. White with a black handle. Does look pretty nice, does look pretty nice. And we want that, I think, right about there. Yeah, that should work out perfectly. Actually, hang on. It should open up against the other wall. There we go. Okay, that works a little bit better. That way when you open it up, because our washer and dryer is going to be in here, that way when you open it up, it's not up against the washer and dryer, and you still have access to that stuff. I think that door actually works really well. All right, and now we're going to turn our attention to the outside of the house. Basically, you guys, this episode is trying to get this house configured in a way that it's actually livable or usable in any way because it really wasn't before. So on the outside I went ahead and did the same brick that we have on the inside. So we're going to get rid of this stone here, but I want to figure out what we should be using for the outside of this property. So if we go into walls under wall panels, let's take a look at what we got here. We could do the whole thing brick, that's a good possibility, or we could just do some siding 
That also wouldn't look bad. I'm not sure this would be a good property to paint necessarily. We could do this ship lap too, this wide ship lap. Let's see what that looks like up against the brick maybe. Yeah, I think that settles that. That's what we're going with. I think we did that on our personal house as well, but it just looks so nice. So while I'm siding this house, I don't know if anyone has noticed this. You probably haven't, but I feel like mentioning it anyways. My lack of wardrobe change. And that is due to the fact that these past couple episodes have been recorded back to back to back to back. And uh, that's because I was sick yesterday. So I've been using today as a sort of way to get ahead again and not fall super behind on the uh, house flipper recordings. So if that helps explain that, if you were curious, hopefully it does. Come on, can I just, there we go. I'm using my plants right now as a ladder and it's actually working pretty well. But I'm gonna work my way around this property now and uh, try to get all of these panels put on the walls. It's gonna take a bit of time. It's gonna take quite a bit of time. Three hours later. I think it's done. Honestly, it's been so long, I'm not even sure what all I've paneled. <laughs> I'm starting to lose my mind a little bit, okay? This is definitely the last recording of the day, for sure. I know that much. But rather than doing shiplap around the entirety of the outside of the house, I decided to switch it up and do a little bit of brick, and I think it honestly worked. I think it looks really, really good. So check out up here. You can kind of see where the shiplap meets the brick on the front. I like it. Let me know what you guys think, of course, but I think it turned out really nice. Now, the other reason, too, behind that was because I couldn't exactly panel every single panel on the front of the house. There's a couple of spots, like behind these bushes, you probably can't even see, that are still the original siding. I'm not going to get rid of these plants just so I can side the house. I'm leaving the plants there because I really don't want to do any gardening. All I want to do is mow this lawn and be done for the day. So that brings us to the last thing that I'm going to do today, which is mow the yard. And then I think we will be all wrapped up. Okay, maybe I won't mow the lawn. Hang on, check this out. So if I'm if I'm out here in the garden, right? And I try to take out the lawn mower, it tries to put it inside. Can I seriously not mow this property? Okay, there we go. All right, something was messed up there. Honestly, I was kind of hoping that we wouldn't have to mow, but I'm gonna get after it. Okay, guys, it's like years later now. It's been, it's been three years. I've been mowing this lawn for years. No, it's finally done. And I do think it looks really, really nice. It's just nice to not have that tall grass anymore, but um, let's do one more quick little run through through the house here before we call it quits for the day. So here, we're gonna do a bedroom. We may add a bathroom, not 100% sure yet, but that's looking good. Here we're gonna have our office that doesn't have a door, it's just gonna be free flowing, you know, open wall. Then we have our main bathroom here. There shouldn't be a shower in this one. I think we're just gonna do sink toilet, so a half bath, I guess. This will be our dining room. Oh. Hang on. Wow, okay, this is how I know that recording back to back to back to back like this is a bad idea. I forgot to, I forgot to put a kitchen. I forgot to put an entire kitchen in this house. Well, I guess we're gonna change this from just dining room to kitchen slash dining room. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize, I didn't realize that we had done that. I didn't realize that that happened. No, hang on. Dining room, screw the office. We don't need an office. We can put an office in our bedroom. We're doing kitchen over here. Just a big old kitchen. All right, no dining room. Dining room's now moved to over here. God, I'm glad I went through this again. And here, we're gonna have the living room. This is gonna be a mud room, laundry room, a dog room kind of thing. And then this will be the master bedroom, and of course the attached master bath. Wow, I really done goofed on this one, guys. Jeez, okay, well, that is officially this house complete for now. Next episode, we will be decorating and hopefully, fingers crossed, we can get her finished and get her put up on the market for sale, but that is going to do it for this episode. Now, if you guys did enjoy, please leave a like, leave a comment, to help support the dream by smashing that subscribe button, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching, guys. 
Peace.